A raster or bitmapped image is an image created with thousands of pixels. A raster image can be thought of as a puzzle with the pixels making up the individual puzzle pieces. Each pixel or puzzle piece has only one color value and a combination of multiple pixels creates the raster image. Some of the challenges you may face while working with raster images are removing background pixels, creating an image of a specific size, and saving the image with transparency. Now let's take an in-depth look at a raster image. Go to the file menu and choose open. Navigate to the assets for this video. Choose the file called twolf.jpg. Open the image size dialog box by navigating to the image menu and choosing image size. This displays the properties including how many pixels, the resolution or pixels per inch, and the physical size of the image. In this dialog box we can see that the image is 600 pixels wide by 430 pixels tall and has a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. To scale the image up in size, change the width to 4 inches. As a result of doubling the image's size, we have now doubled the number of pixels in the image. To maintain the clarity of the image, we must now reduce the number of pixels by changing the image resolution to 150 pixels per inch. The resulting image will maintain the smooth edges as the actual number of pixels remains unchanged, but the density of those pixels has been reduced to allow the image to be scaled up in physical size. Commit the changes to the image by clicking OK in the dialog box. With the image now enlarged appropriately, we are ready to remove the white background pixels from the image. To accomplish this, we are going to use a layer mask. A mask is a way of hiding pixels in an image without actually deleting the pixels. To apply the layer mask, we must first target the desired pixels by selecting them. In the toolbox at the left, you will find a tool called the magic wand. It can be accessed by pressing W. The wand selects pixels based on their value of color. Since all of the background pixels are white, it is the right tool to make our selection. Make sure you uncheck the contiguous box at the top of the screen in the control panel. Click on the white area of the image. All of the white pixels in the image are now selected as designated by the marching ant selection bounding area. When we apply our layer mask, it will hide all the pixels which are not selected. As a result, we need to inverse the selection so that the area we want to keep is selected. In the selection menu, choose inverse. Now that the area we need is selected, click on the add layer mask button at the bottom of the layers panel. The white pixels have now been replaced with transparency as designated by the checkered background. To save this image and the transparency we just created, go to the file menu and choose Save As. In the Format drop-down menu, choose PNG. Once the image is saved, the PNG file can be used as any normal JPEG would be. However, it has saved the transparency and will no longer display a white background. And we'll choose OK for the PNG options. To recap, we opened the image and changed its size, removed the white background, and saved it with transparency. Now it's your turn. Go find that image with the white background that has been haunting you and correct it by adding some transparency in Photoshop.